in dealing with the Seek Benefit Fund, which is only applicable in Cape Town and in KwaZulu Natal, then the employee can apply for an exemption from the Seek Benefit Fund. They would have to provide proof that they have a membership with an alternative medical aid. Again, what must be noted here is and the exemption committee needs to see a payslip which shows that the employer's portion of the contribution is now being paid to the employee. Remember, this is not an application for non-payment of sick benefit fund. It is merely an application for the employee to go on to an alternative fund. So we previously, the employer have paid the contribution over to the council that now forms part of the salary of the employee. Again, reapplications must take place and proof of membership uh, for the period that exemption was granted must be given. The last one I want to deal with is the sick pay fund. The employer can apply for an exemption from the sick pay fund uh, and should that be granted, the employer must then pay the benefits as within the sick pay fund and not in terms of the basic conditions of employment. What that would mean is, here you have an application where both the employer and employee, if granted, will not contribute the half percent of salary to the council, but instead the employer will now have to pay 66 days, the two groups of 33 days, out of pocket, plus the benefit in terms of maternity, which means a 30% for four months. So, I would urge the, 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 both the employers and employees to really rethink an application for sick pay fund as it is a financial benefit both to employer and to employee. Should you have any queries, you are most welcome to contact any of our offices and we will gladly assist. Thank you.